this video, I will teach you how to draw a spiral staircase in Brooks Catbin. Okay, so we'll start by drawing two circles, one with a radius of 800 and one with a radius of 100. Then we'll draw a line starting at the center of the circles. And we are going to make a polar array of that line. Under items, enter 20. We need to trim the inner lines in the little circle, so for that we select it all. And now they are deleted. Okay, now we draw another circle, this time with a radius of 775. We trim the unnecessary parts of the circle. And we also don't need the array anymore. We only keep those two lines. Then go to the divide tool and divide this arc in three blocks. Now two points were created on this arc. And on these points, we are going to draw two little circles with a radius of 13. Delete the arc and also delete the created points. Okay, we are going to hide these circles for a while. Now we'll make sure the boundary detection is enabled and we extrude this surface to a height of 85. Then we'll do the same, but with a height of 15. Then we are going to pull the upper side surface 20 units further. Okay, now we need those little circles again, so we go to wireframe, and we show all entities. We select the circles and we move them to the top surface. Okay, with these circles we are going to create the poles that support our railing. So extrude this circle to a height of 800 and do the same with the other but with a height of 750. Then we'll change the visual style to BIM again. Now we are going to fillet some edges. So select the wanted edges. And then enter a radius of 4. Now we will give the top part a material, for example oak. Drag the material to the solid. Union all the parts and also make a block out of it. To do this go to insert and click create block. Name it stair and pick the center point. Okay, now we have our block. We need to create a polar array of this block. Select the center and enter 20 items. So this is our array. We need to explode it now. Now we need to move every part upwards step by step. We are going to do this in steps of 170 units. Since this process is going to take a while, I will speed it up a bit for you.
When that's done, your staircase should look like this. Now we need to create the railing. For this we are going to make a spline between the center points of the top circles of these poles. I'm going to speed this up as well. Okay, now we have the whole spine. We will sweep a square across the spine. So we are going to create this square now. We'll make it 40 by 40. To make it a bit nicer, we are going to fill it the corners. Okay, so type sweep. Select the square and select the path. And that leaves us with this railing. Now we're almost done. We are going to attribute a material to the railing. So just pick any material and drag it to the railing. To create the center pole, we still have that little circle on the bottom and we extrude it. Now there are still some unnecessary lines in our drawing, so go to the tab structure and delete them all. There should only be two solids and 20 blocks left. Okay, so that's our final spiral staircase. We can now render it. First, you can set the render quality a bit higher. And then press render. And that gives you this nice image of our staircase. And here's a final look at our staircase. So that's how you draw it. Thanks for watching.